All right, we're back for the final section of this video. Uh, I have flipped over my elemental cards, my ravage cards, and my turn is over. We will then start the elemental turn. Should technically start with the geyser and with the desiccation card. Desiccation card takes away the last card from my hand. Zero enters to one, is defeated. Acid Lake, let's drop there. All right. All right. And we know the stone rain's coming, but our tree is protected. No blazing. So that's not a very dangerous turn. We are obviously going to. Now we are, our tree has landed on the space of the evergreen, and now we can start moving it back towards the battlefield. So we can knock out that stone ring with either the... We can just let it knock out the, the fountain or we can take care of it with a hedgehog card. I have a suspicion that it would be better to let this be destroyed because we'll be able to draw a card. So that will leave the leave this card out and another one in our hand. Can't defeat too much with that one strength fountain in any case. Alright, do we have any moves that we want to engage in before we start? No, I think we're alright. So what we'll do Demobilize. All right, so we'll demobilize. Well, we've got some geysers in a nice spot. Can really knock out some enemies for free. Nothing to blaze. And this card is destroyed. Draw a new card. Man. I should say I should say uh, that I had a particularly good deck. <laughs> this deck is is extremely amped up. It's a hugely amped up deck. Now, how did I get it? Did I play uh, an actual scenario number one to arrive at it? No. You can start right up into scenario number two if you really want to just focus in on the, the player mechanics of scenario number two. You can perform a standard mobilization of your regular deck and then mobilize the deck again. So you'll have to it'll simulate the whittling down of the cards. It will give you a it will give you a more powerful deck than than 
what you would actually play out with because you get to at least choose you know, a modicum of choice in what you retain through the second demobilization. So this deck was particularly powerful. I got particularly lucky. Uh, these squirrels are just running the table. And again, is, this is the, your your mileage may vary. Uh, it it's part of the pleasure of Sylvian is the variety of card draws that you get. Um, but this, the, why is this coming along so easy? Why am I wiping the floor off the ravage on turn number eight? Um, I got a very powerful deck. So, no doubt about it. <laughs> Oi. And squirrels, you know, when when you can orthogonally move, squirrels are just extremely powerful. They are more important in, they become even more important in this version, this variant, than they are in the original game. And they are powerful enough there. Um, weak cards, um, owls are definitely weak cards. You start with a depleted deck, owls burn through decks, and they heighten demobilizations, they increase the amount of demobilizations that you're gonna that you're going to experience. You don't want to demobilize too many times. You can already see our decks getting fairly small. All right. Now, so we got some pretty strong cards coming up here. And we definitely want to take advantage of our Hedgehog card to knock out that the Ravage. That three strength is not so bad, but the Ravage Pawn would really amp it up. And if you noticed, uh, our deck doesn't, we don't, although we have a lot of nice, really powerful support cards, we're not overwhelming. We don't have an overwhelming amount of actual fountain cards. So I think we will knock that out. Knowing that's coming, knowing that's there, so we move that, we'll keep that there. So we will take the turn over to, um, sorry, gotta get, did we get that squirrel? Yeah, we had, we had two squirrels. Okay, we'll deal with the ravage and Pay the Hedgehog to avoid putting the Ravage Pawn on this. Demobilization. That's nine. We have almost all of our demobilizations taking place. We have eight, we have six in our deck, eight in our discard pile, and four out on the table. We have 14 cards, folks. We better get the, we better get this. And I forgot to move the evergreen. We definitely need that to happen. So standard combat, four defeats of three. Standard combat, two defeats of one. We've demobilized. Sorry about that.
And this is out on the board. Now it's our turn. Mm, that's welcome. That is welcome. Ooh, finally. Mm, all of these are most welcome. So we're in pretty fantastic shape. We are definitely going, mm, definitely? We'll see about what's definite or not. Um, We have three coming in, three coming in here. A two. One, two, three. Yeah. It's not great. One, two, and three would get our four out on the board. I think what we will do in order to avoid in order to avoid any loss of a card we will play we will play our free tree which is destined for destruction and we'll let it go at that all right we will play the stone ring card. And this will destroy the tree, but it won't take any card out of our hand. Two on two destroys both. Gives us another card. Three fights a four is defeated. And this is forced movement. This is forced to move. Like this. We're going to get pretty, I think we're in good, pretty good shape. All right. I don't think there's anything else that the Ravage can do at this moment. Since we're going to win, and well, we'll see. We'll see how much we have here. First of all, we have to demobilize. And that's the thing, as your deck gets smaller and smaller and smaller, you demobilize faster and faster and faster. So we're not going to have a lot of cards, and that hurts. All right, that's our third card. Um, first things first, so that's our new, this is our new deck. Got to know what's coming.
Okay. All right. We will play the geyser. That was a freebie. And we can... That's good. I'd rather demobilize than desiccate on the final turn. But it doesn't really matter. It's not that bad. Temporal Tornado. We'll get rid of that. We're well, not even going to run into it. And so that's what we've got. Wow. We it's a good thing we're winning because we don't have many cards left. Mm, yep, I don't think so. We'll play the stag. And this will give us a little head start on the on the third scenario. If you can, you know, that's something that's available to you. And you'll try it both ways, and I think you'll agree that you don't want to get too deep. This has um, been a fairly easy victory. So we've had a really powerful deck. We've had some pretty good draws. The squirrels have pretty much dictated the way this game has gone through. Interesting little chaotic here. Don't have to worry about that. Next turn go. We'll play the hedgehog. One strength is defeated. Desiccation doesn't matter. We'll take our we'll take a card off desiccation. Two demobilizations. Not a big deal because next turn we're taking our so yeah we're at no turn turn eleven <sighs> that was really fast very fast your mileage may vary um. I'm more than happy to answer questions about this variant and how the mechanics work on the BGG uh, message boards. You can personal message me. You can respond to this um, video as well. So I'll check out all the different areas where this is going to be posted. And um, I hope that this has given whetted your appetite a little bit to s check out how to play. Please have a look at the draft and it's pretty it's pretty close to a final draft but it is a it is a draft set of, of rules. It will go into more detail on the story elements and that I'm and, and so that you can tell and connect some of the mechanics with the the storyline which is one of the things I'm proud of about the variant. This is a beautifully evocative game. It has wonderful artwork. It's and what it needed is a little bit more theme and a little bit more difficulty. I don't think I got the difficulty in this particular scenario, but uh, 
um, try it yourself, I think you'll find that it can be plenty challenging. But there's always a lucky draw, and I definitely drew it. All right, thanks very much, and uh, keep in touch.